Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is a actually rather beautiful Wednesday morning. It's sunny and 70, so everything is bass backwards because I was not expecting that either. Considering how much it rained last night, I just assumed that it would continue raining all day for my ride home. So chances are it's gonna be nice in Maryland now and shitty when I drive back to Virginia Beach once I get closer to home. Who knows? Either way, I'm up. It's a gorgeous morning. The scenery is beautiful. I'm driving through the rolling hills of Upper Maryland and head my way into Virginia eventually. I had, a, I guess, a decent night's sleep, although I stayed awake way later than I should have, just farting around watching videos and TV and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna guess that, uh, uh, you know, the sleep app is gonna show me is not getting, oh yeah. yeah. It shows that I only got five hours and 39 minutes of sleep. Two hours and three minutes of it was deep. So I did get a couple of hours of deep sleep, but I didn't get enough sleep. I have my first meeting in six minutes. So I'm on my way to that. Then it's two hours until the next one because I got to drive a ways. And then I will likely stop somewhere for breakfast. So it'll be a little bit later of a breakfast. I did go to Target last night after dinner and I bought peanut butter chocolate keto bars. <laughs> Gotta have dessert. Again, pretty excited that for now at least it's sunny. Let's just head into the day. Let me just say, I'm glad I'm not on that side of the highway. I just passed a pretty good accident. Well, pretty bad accident. Sorry. Uh, it looked like a truck hauling lumber slammed into something. I mean, it really crushed up the the cabin the front of the truck and the lumber is everywhere i'm gonna say I, a good three to five miles of absolutely not moving traffic like to the point where people are literally out of their vehicles and it just keeps going and going and going uh, these people are going to be sitting here for a while there's a shit ton of lumber that needs to be moved off of the highway in addition to actually moving direct vehicles and yeah it is oh my god this is crazy here i'm gonna spin this and show you see if you can see it so yeah people out of their vehicles still you know i'm again i'm like three to five miles away from the accident probably and i mean look at all these trucks all these vehicles they're just all they've got to be so frustrated Oh man, I feel bad for these people. They're, we're talking hours. <laughs> now we got somebody that actually turned around on the median and is driving back on the grass to get to a spot to come back onto this side of the highway. Yeah, this is nuts. Uh, again, I feel bad for, for these people. I hope the, the drivers of the vehicles are okay because it, it's a pretty horrific crash. Uh, but yeah, I mean, oh my God, like as far as my eye can see over the horizon on these, on these hills, and who knows how long they've already been there. I just wanted to take a moment to talk about uh, how grateful I am to not have been in an accident and or to be on that side of the highway, because holy shit. Okay, kids, that was interesting. I didn't have time to film this on the Insta360 RS. I had to make a decision because I didn't think there was a lot of time. Basically, back in Fredericksburg, where I usually stop to pee and go to Starbucks or, you know, if I need gas or anything like that. As I came off the off-ramp, I noticed smoke. And I was like, what the? And I rounded the bend and saw that there was a vehicle that was at the, like, the next light in the lane on fire. And I was like, holy shit. And I was on the phone with my, with my buddy and I was like, dude, this car is like in flames. I'm like, holy crap. I was like, I can't believe people are like parking next to that. That thing's gonna explode. Like it's that on fire. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna freaking pull around here into this lot and take pictures. So I got off the phone with him, ran out, and then I had to make the decision. I pulled this down, but then I thought to myself, I'm not getting anywhere near that fucking thing because it's, it's gonna blow up. Like I was convinced it was gonna explode. So I grabbed my A7R3 that I had the 70 to 200 on, perfectly convenient, huh? and whipped into the parking lot, parked, got out, still kept far enough away, and started recording. In the meantime, the owner of the car was standing there with another woman. Of course, she was in tears, freaking out, and I was thinking to myself, they need to move away from that damn thing. And I still can't believe that cars are pulling up to the light and sitting next to that thing 
and it's on fire. It's not like it was hidden and you couldn't see it was on fire. It was freaking in flames. You know, like people are so stupid. So the fire engine came. I, I was so caught up in, in filming and kind of looking around and seeing what was going on because, you know, rescue squad came and da 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 da, that I didn't see what they deployed. But they stuck something underneath that car and it exploded, whatever they put under there, and then boom, pow! And then you just start hearing steam hissing and then it turned to white smoke and the flames were gone. So whatever cool ass device they stuck under there that, that popped like that essentially stopped it from continuing to burn and exploding, the vehicle that is. And then they had the hoses out and they were trying to, to get the hood to come up so that they could make sure that they doused the fire and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think that's gonna be a totaled vehicle as far as insurance is concerned. So at that point, then other fire trucks and police and all that kind of just started coming up and I was like, all right, I'm done. But you know, a little mini adventure on the way home. So then I went to Starbucks and peed and got a iced coffee. Okay, kids. Sorry for this last minute edition here, which is completely off from everything else that I've shot today. I was going through my footage and realized that after I shot the car on fire and all that stuff, I did not realize that I had run out of juice on my Rode Wireless Go transmitter. So there was no audio for everything that I talked about afterwards and my outro. So I just decided to shoot one real quick now because I'm pretty much at the end of my edit. I, you know, a little bit different today. You got cars on fire and five mile backups from accidents. Although I wish I could have shown you all the lumber like scattered all over the freaking highway, but you get the picture. So anyways, yeah, pretty eventful drive home today. It's like almost 7.30 and I had dinner and I went for a nice long walk for about an hour. So I beat the rain, it is thundering, and it's supposed to get pretty wicked soon, I guess. We'll see. But anyways, that's it. That's all I've got for you. I'm gonna go chill after this because I'm beat from driving so much and I just wanna relax. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.